One of my cinematic heroes, Baz Luhrmann, is here in studio. Welcome. This is what a cinematic hero looks like. I know. Right here. Baz <laughs> Luhrmann <laughs> in the flesh. Uh, so look, it's been 15 years since you told this story yeah. first, uh, Australia. Yeah. Uh, that was when it was released back in 2008. Why did you want to revisit this story? Well, blame Tom Hanks. <laughs> okay. Because yeah, I'm about to shoot, I'm about to do Elvis. Tom famously gets COVID really first. He's yeah. one of the first people That's to get right. it. He shut yeah. down. I'm like, what am I going to do? And I start looking at this two and a half million feet of film footage I shot. And I realized that with episodic streaming, I now had a chance to lean into the big theme of Australia, which was taking something like Gone with the Wind, an old, you know, melodrama, but telling it from a, an indigenous child's point of view. And I just started started playing with it and realized there was a deeper, different way of telling this. But story. why would you think that that would work considering mm. Australia did very well in Europe, but yeah. it did not do very well it, here. No, not well here at all. Yeah, so why would you think, let me take another shot at it here? I think because I just thought, you know what? It's epic. I shot it as an epic. And in yeah. the back of my mind, yeah. in those days, we all forget, you know, movies came out and you had one night and it was, well, is it too long? Yeah. Is it compressed? But episodic storytelling really suits the epic nature. Ah. And I was able to really lean into things. That, like, it isn't just a director's cut. You know, there are different plot points. I work with these young indigenous pop stars to make new music, which I think is great. Yeah, the music is great. And Thanks, the fashion, yeah. we can say a special shout out to your Catherine wife, Martin. Catherine Martin. Yes. Shout out. Fashion is great. But this, I was telling uh, Vlad, that I intended to watch one episode, okay, maybe two, maybe two. <laughs> I watched all six of them back to back because I thought, I don't have six hours to do to this. <laughs> because it's that good. But it's uh, that I love, good. I love that. No, I, I really mean it, Baz, because really? I I learned about this, the stolen rights about this indigenous children. So real. This is a true story. Yes. About the way that they were the treated. it went on until the 70s. It went on until the 70s. Oh, yeah. What like, is it exactly? Yeah, yeah, you know what? It really is a great scar on our country. Children of mixed race were forcibly taken from their families yeah. and put into compounds and told that their families were dead. Yes. And it had such a devastating effect on the communities and on the culture. Now, there's been films made about it, but I wanted to take a popular form that would bring in a broad audience but deal with a very, very unpopular subject. Mm -hmm. And that's what I tried to do. It's a melodrama. I mean, it's got all that kind of yeah. broad comedy and big romance, yes. a big sweeping, you know, Hugh and Nicole. But at the center of it is this child who is stolen from his yes. family. Yeah. The film is told through that ch the child's eyes. Yes. Um, and you change the ending, yeah. not gonna give it away, but it's very different mm. it's than not the happy. It's not happy. It's not a happy ending like no. the first film. Uh, why did you choose to do that? You know, when I was making it, and look, I think- I'm still recovering about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're, 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 I'm sorry to traumatize you there, but the, no, but um, Australia, I think, it was one sitting. I remember when we released it, there was the economic breakdown. And because it's melodrama, there's tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. Mm -hmm. And we felt maybe it was too much. And so I opted for the other ending, but with episodic streaming, you have enough time to actually deal with it. And in the end, the theme of it is, as Hugh Jackman says, you really can't own land, you can't own a child, you can't own yeah. a relationship. All you got in the end is your story. You better try and live a good mm. one. I, I think Hugh and Nicole together also are magic. 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 Did you have to convince them? Were they on board right away? And I think anytime you can see Hugh Jackman, all of his abs and shirtless is a good thing. You mean the Elvis of the no. Outback? Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> the Elvis of the Outback. Did you have to convince them? Were they on board? Because oh, no, they were. We went them. through. We went through so many extraordinary things making that film. Um, they came in and did some revoicing for it, and we all have such extraordinary memories of the journey. I mean, we, we had difficulties, you know, it rained for the first time in a hundred years in the desert. Whoa. I remember Nicole coming to me under the Boab tree and telling me, oh, Bazzi, I'm pregnant, you know? So there's <laughs> And you so said, many... great. Oh yeah, 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 it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Uh, we're gonna, I, I, we have questions about Elvis. I'm gonna do a little something for the internet okay. after we finish this interview because oh, we're okay. running out of time. Yeah, I wanna talk about Elvis. You mean Mike, blow up the internet? I'm, that's what I'm planning to do, Baz right. Lerman. <laughs> Always Congratulations. great to have you. Yeah, so good. So great. I really, I really so good. love that you watched the whole thing. Oh, no, we really we did. We loved it. It was a great. So we, I loved Australia. I had to go back and watch the ending of Australia to make sure right. my eyes weren't deceiving me. <laughs> well, they're like cousins. <laughs> the same but different. I love it. You can watch Far Away Downs right now on Hulu.